Hello. Me and Lydia here, just cleaning. Long life to you, Thane. Yeah, you too. You get back to that. I think I'm going to read a book. Right here. The Watcher of Stone by Glyphsig Thane of Boring. Long have I waited at the Guardians. I must know, are the stories true? Surely you've heard them. Tales of the stones granting powers to heroes of old, those special few being able to choose any stone to rewrite his fate. Of course you've heard them. That's why you touch the stones as you pass by. You've heard they bring luck or a sign from the gods. But you think little of the action. It has no true meaning for you. I see it in your eyes as you pass. You do not believe what I have always believed, always felt that I was one of few whose fate was not sealed at birth by the stars overhead, one of the few who could use these stones, draw on the power of the gods to change my life, change my future. I have always felt it. I have done much in my years, fought battles, defended villages, quested and adventured throughout Skyrim. I have bested the companions of Whiterun in combat and performed deeds worthy of everlasting praise and song from the Bard's College. No task was too small or great if it could bring me honor, glory, proof that I was worthy of the stone's power, and yet nothing. I have found many of these cursed, accursed stones in my travels, and none have responded to my touch. With each new feet I would return to the guardians wondering if the gods finally deem me worthy but now these days are gone I am an old man with no fight left in me and so here I sit watching the faces of those who pass by on their daily errands their mundane travels from one city or town to another most of you do not even give the stones a passing glance you have never heard their call. You will never feel drawn to them. Some days I envy you that. Long will I wait at the Guardians, for I must know. Are the stories true? Well, well, that's crazy. What a buck. On that bounty. Okay, here we go. Hello. Okay. What are you gonna eat? Honored to see you again, my Thane. I don't know. What should I do? I think I'm gonna do this. Forbidden legend. Long ago, the Archmage Galder was murdered, and his three sons were hunted down by King Harold's personal battle mage. The entire incident was covered up, their names struck from every record, but the legend survived. 
Perhaps someone still knows the truth of this ancient tale. So let's do that. So out the door we go. Two white truck. Hello. We're gonna investigate the Galder legend. And first off, I'm going to read a book, Lost Legends. Lost Legends of Skyrim by Talsgar the Elder, Archivist of Winterhold. The history of Skyrim is vast, predating even the most ancient records of man and myrrh. Much has been lost, fallen to the ravages of war or the turning of the ages, but nothing is ever truly forgotten. Where no records exist, legends and folk tales offer us a key to the past, a way to piece together truths half remembered in the minds of men. For generations, the people of Morthal have told whispered tales of the da pale lady, a ghostly woman who wanders the northern marshes, forever seeking her lost daughter. Some say she steals children who wander astray. Others, at her sobbing wail, strikes dead all those who hear it. But behind these tales may lie a kernel of truth. For ancient records speak of Amriel, a mysterious figure. Yes, Grimoire's hires battled for decades and finally sealed away. Reachmen tell the story of Fallon, Red Eagle, an ancient king who rallied his people and drove back the armies of Cyrodiil with a flaming sword. Though accounts vary, they too seem to be based on an underlying truth. The Imperial Chronicles of Empress Hestra mention a rebel leader of that era who was eventually cornered and slain in battle at the cost of a full legion of men. But some tales prove far harder to analyze. Among scholars, perhaps the best known is the forbidden legend of the Archmage Galder. In the dawning days of the First Era, the story goes, there lived a powerful wizard by the name of Galder. Wise and just, he was well known in the courts of King Harald and the Jarls of Skyrim, and his aid and counsel were sought by men and Myrrha alike. And then he was murdered. Some say one of his sons killed him. Others that King Harold, jealous of his power, gave his order. But Galder's three sons fled into the night, pursued by a company of Harold's best warriors and the Lord German, the king's personal battle mage. A great chase ensued from the wilds of the Reach to the glacial north. One brother is said to have perished in the ruins of Falconthor at the foot of solitude. The others were run to ground soon thereafter. And once it was done, King Harold ordered every record of their murders destroyed, and Galder's name and deeds were struck from the rolls of history. Even today, few sources remain, and no bard would tell the tale, but perhaps the truth yet remains in some ancient ruin waiting to be unearthed, for nothing is ever truly forgotten. investigate and it's raining hello hmm? hello they are they reforming the dawn god vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. I consider joining up myself. I got some Thalmor clothes on. And I'm going. Right here. Just 
kind of by here recently. I'm gonna fight those trolls again, probably. Unless I go this way. Yeah, let's go this way. Go. I see a dragon. What a bear, eh? 